case control study. Funding from the National Institute on Drug Abuse, which is a major funding agency for marijuana-related research. This was the largest study uh, ever conducted on this subject. It was very well designed. We used the uh, Los Angeles uh, Tumor Registry to identify, rapidly ascertain, all the cases of lung cancer and head and neck cancer <clears throat> that occur, that were diagnosed in the L.A. County system. And, uh, of course, by the time we got to some of them, they'd already died or were too sick. But we got to it, over 60% of them who agreed to participate and uh, were able to participate. And we administered this questionnaire. And then we matched them to controls, the uh, same age, socioeconomic status, and lived in the same neighborhood, using an algorithm that USC developed for this purpose so that we could match, you know, we're comparing apples with apples. And then we administered the, this detailed questionnaire, the food frequency questions, occupational history, all kinds of things. We also did molecular, uh, we got uh, a buckle smear so we could look at the DNA, we look at the genetics of lung cancer. Uh, so what we did was to recruit uh, uh, smokers, heavy smokers of marijuana, um, at least a joint a day for a week, and it ended up that the average smoker of marijuana whom we recruited smoked three joints a day for about 15 years. And um, uh, that's true. We also required that they smoke that much for five years. But on the average, they smoked three joints for 15 years. So that's about 45 to 50 joint years. A joint year is, is the number of joints smoked uh, times the number of years smoked. Over the study population was, I think, between <coughs> 35 and 59. I think 35 was a younger age. Because we thought that they had to be... Uh, Teenagers are in the early 20s at the time of the, at least in the marijuana epidemic, which you know was in the, in the mid-60s. So prior to that time, very few people used marijuana, but after that time, it just mushroomed up to 1979, which represented actually the apex, the acme of use of marijuana in our society. So that, we, that's why we chose those age limits. And so what did we find? Uh, for any category of cannabis use, including heavy use, Heavy use we define as more than 10 joint years, but we looked at 20 joint years and 30 joint years. For every category of marijuana use, the ratio was less than one, meaning reduced risk. It wasn't significantly reduced, but it was reduced. With, uh, and the confidence intervals were not that, that wide uh, around the point estimate. So there was no evidence. And we controlled for all the known or putative factors, uh, socioeconomic <laughs> status, can comment tobacco smoking, alcohol, etc. At the same time when we did a similar analysis for the tobacco smokers, there was a huge effect of tobacco. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter flame. Yeah, Fred. The blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure white filter, Winston packs rich tobacco specially selected and specially processed for good flavor in filter smoking. Yeah, Barney, Winston tastes good like a cigarette chew.